Why did I choose to get married when this fast food culture of instant gratification is telling me not to? When every friend, acquaintance, man I speak to, as soon as I say I'm getting married, they look at me like I've just, I'm about to commit a war crime on myself. And I have my reasons. But first, let's address the issue where men are going down in quality and women are going down in quality. Meaning that we as men, we're not being the best we can be and women are not being the best they can be. It's all about instant gratification. It's all about, what's the best way to put it? Trying to look as good as you can to people you don't know and it's all about feeling wanted feeling desired this is something that we all need to work on because this doesn't lead us anywhere you know tinder bumble all these dating apps right all they do is just put you in this loop where you feel as in you don't want to commit to anything because there might be someone else out there better you feel as in oh if i commit to this person i could be missing out on that person it's sort of the situation of the grass is always greener on the other side and this is something that we all need to work on because this is stopping families being together this is spot on single parent simulations going on this is single parent pandemic happening you know and it's for a reason because why would a man want to commit to one woman when he doesn't feel like she would commit to him and he hears all these stories all these fears of he could potentially be left on the street to starve and all his money, all his wealth that he worked all his years for to go towards this woman that cheated on him, you know, which is even worse. And you hear these stories happening. But it all comes down to judge of character. Judge of character. People don't know how to judge character anymore. People are following almost intuition, letting their emotions lead them when really and truly your mind and your heart should be leading you, not your emotions, because your emotions fluctuate. One day you're happy, one day you're sad, one day you love something, next day you hate it. So why would you let an uncontrollable energy or a controllable energy that you haven't controlled control you because a beautiful tree i see women i see men going out drinking women going out drinking dressing provocatively men like peacocks trying to attract the right woman men with girlfriends trying to talk to other women i see women with boyfriends trying to talk to other men i see women with boyfriends trying to get attention from other men why would why would anyone want to get married to that why would anyone as soon as i see that it like it puts me off it's an ick you could say you know Either you're committed or you're not. This is the whole, like, it's like this line on the floor, right? If you can see this line here. You got your foot on both sides. You know, you're in and you're out. Oh, I, I like her, but I want to commit to her. Oh, I love her, but there could be other women out there. Oh, I love her. I'm going to be with her for 15 years, but I'm never going to marry her because uh, I'm scared that she might break up with me or she might cheat on me or we might have kids and I'm fucked because I'm going to have to pay child support for the rest of my life. 
this is just causing single parents this is just creating single parents there is nothing good coming from this and i believe it's part of a little bit part of the agenda too you know something so beautiful like a family that i didn't experience growing up it's lacking in the world and it's going to be lacking because more and more people are going towards this path of lust losing themselves and never committing to anything or anyone or themselves we need to wake up and move on from this because it's a dire situation and we're all going to be lost if we if we don't bring ourselves together again